Hi everyone, it's Damien for another video. Um, last night yeah, I was listening to some Just World, as you can see. Uh, last night, uh, yeah, I was doing that exercise and I actually didn't really uh, follow up with it because I wasn't really like satisfied about the code. So, I mean, it's working, if I remember well. Yes, yeah, it's working, actually. I mean, all the tests should be passing, I think, if I remember, but um, I just didn't like the code. I still don't like it, because I didn't change it, actually. But, yeah, um, so, and I was thinking through it um, when I was at work, because yeah i committed it on github and uh yeah i was looking at it and i th i think i said on the last video that when i did the exercise the first time i probably used uh, apologies guys as always i'm a bit tired so yeah i um yeah on the last video i was saying that i think i used um a Nash or a dictionary to do uh, this exercise, but um, I don't really know what I did. I don't really remember. I know that I think I'm not even sure. I think I used a Ash to do it, but I'm not sure. And trust me, I didn't look at it because I, I mean that makes no sense. Like if you really want to remember and to get into the, um, I mean, get to know some of the method, not by heart, but like when you want to get into the habit of just writing a Ruby code or any languages code, doesn't make sense to do an exercise and go watch it every time, you know, because you won't remember anything. So I didn't watch it, but I know I remember. I know that I used a Nash. I'm gonna try to uh, do that. So let's see. First of all, how do I? How can I? I think an Ash is defined that way. I think. Uh, I don't know. Like. I don't. I think it's. Um, I think it's that. Ash, like, let's say, like, how do you call that? Um, what What is this exercise actually? Is the name of this exercise? I mean, it's Raindrop, but uh, I think there is, like, yeah, some of these are like the rules. Oh. Uh, not really the rules, how can I like factors? Yeah, let's put it that way. And uh, factors, factors, how do I define Ash and Ruby? Let's close that because there is too much thing open right now. So, how do I define Ruby? Let's say, I think it's six, oh, 2.6 ash. All right. I think it's something like that, and you gotta put um, like the key and then the value, like, yeah, the key and the value. So let's do, let's do that actually. Well, yeah, let's do, I think you can even, well, I mean, let's, let's try this. I was playing, then five, four, a plung, is that, yeah, and seven, four, a plong. So let's 
say is that my f is defined. Let's actually try to put that. Uh, I'm gonna do like factors just to see what's going on. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Let's run it. Let's see what's going on here. Well, and it should be fine. I mean, it should be like if I do that, it should be ash, right? Come on. Yeah, that's ash. Okay. So that's fine. So now, um, basically, I want to go through um, the ash all the uh, value of the hash or oh, sorry all the keys of the hash and then say okay if number divided by uh, one or maybe more of these keys um, just add the just happen the 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 value actually is a value corresponding to the key uh, so I think I can do an itch something. Uh, I think I can do like key value. I think I have to do that first. Oh my god. X that. And I would say, let's put it that way, key value, okay, so if, actually let's do, um, I think it's here, and, I'm not sure, I think the end is like, this do is here, no it's not here, it's actually here, so yeah, uh, yeah, it's not like it at first, but no. Oh. And now I wanna like if um, number is oh uh, if number just basically take the condition here, but I'm gonna do it once, just using the 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 keys, right? Uh, sorry, k equal zero. Uh, let's do uh, actually, but I'm gonna I'm not going to do that. I'm going to. Like value and uh, I think I can do that in there. I don't know why it's doing it's not V if it's that. Uh, okay. Let's try this and otherwise it should be number what I think if blah, blah, blah and if the key is not here I should wait let's try it let's try just try it like that just put it here and let's put that um, uh, you see it's a bit like it's the code is actually smaller like it's not really like it's compact it's more compact let's say even though I'm not really satisfied with it and again I'm not saying that I'm an expert but it's quite it looks a little bit better than a bunch a bunch of if 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 if, if you know especially this one here where you're basically doing the contrary of what you actually put first what I actually wrote first so that's why 
Um, so let's try that. It's probably going to be an error. All right. <laughs> As expected. Uh, OK. OK. All right. All right. I think all the tests are failing now. I'm not sure, but local value factors. OK. So it's, first of all, is factors and not factor. So let's see. OK, so it's actually running. It's actually some some tests are some tests are passing. So I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm quite good. The thing is, um, so for example, uh, the sound for one is one. All right. So now there is the other part where Well, I can. I think there is something like a default stuff. If I remember, like if I go to the Ash class, I think there is something. Oh, should I do that? Should I not have done that? Thing is that. So if I go there, I don't want any like okay. So options, blah blah blah. But I think there is a default. Yeah. So default will be basically the number if the hash doesn't exist or by default. Okay. So hash is a default value that we but that is return when accesses key that do not exist into in the hash right if not default key is set now if no default is set nil is used you can set the default key by sending by sending it as an argument you already so i'm just going to do that here i'm just gonna set the default right here here, obviously, after the definition of the hash, that makes more sense. And uh, here, uh, the default basically will be the number. Because if there is no, like in the factors here, is no fact in the factors hash, if there is no key, if the number is not. Yeah, if the number is not, uh, how to say that, dividable, I'm not sure. But basically, if we cannot divide the number, if the num okay, if the number has no factors, which is we have, which are present on the factors here, on the factor hatch. Um, we basically use the number that is the rule of the exercise. Uh, yeah, where is it? In raindrops, for example. Mean, okay, so for example, forty-four. Uh, sorry, thirty-four has four factors. No, what did I? Uh, uh, raindrops maybe will be. No, the rule is actually here. If the number doesn't have, yeah, if the number does not have three, five, or seven as a factor, just pass the number digit straight through. So that's basically is it. Uh, the value will be the number. So let's do that. And it's actually, well, do that I should have oh my god yeah so let's try that oh still the same sound 
equal well uh, okay blah 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 test okay this is the sound for was is one all right so what's going on number return nil so it should be there what is this um, uh -huh. mm, what is happening here and take a look at the test okay so this is a test right uh, where is the code if one can be divided by that that, that. And then it's actually um, it's not really the default will be the number. So this is basically no I think I don't really need the default here. Like because ashes have a default value that is returned when accessing keys that do not exist in the ash. So I don't really need that actually. Because it's not the problem is not that the key doesn't exist. The problem Uh -huh. If number divided by that equals zero, then return I have plain plan plan seven plan for five plain for that all right. So why aren't you? And I think I don't even need that because I think the itch is actually returning something. Itch, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. And block here. We return ash. Let's try that. I'm not sure. Yeah, all right. So it's actually returning the ash. So I do need that. So what's the problem here? Let's actually put that into comment because I don't want to go there. Um, so I don't actually need that. And the problem here let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's actually I hate doing this. And let's put let's actually use that uh, 
Okay, so I've got that. Oh, I think I got it. I'm not sure. But basically, it's going through that. It doesn't. It doesn't really get into the if statement because one is not divided. Cannot be divided by. I mean, it's not cannot, but one is not a factor. Doesn't have as factor three, five, or seven. So you just getting the default value here. So I think the default value should be. No, it's not even. Well, I think I just have a else, if else, if blah, 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 okay, so I'm going to do a if else, else, uh, do, do that, do, like, number, I don't really like this one either. I mean, it's good, but like it's too much code here. I mean, not too much, but okay. So it's actually working that way. So let's yeah, let's 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 do that. Ooh. Okay, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. So it's not really that, obviously. Um, if it's not really if else is. Because um, um, as an if else, yeah, it's just gonna have the do that, otherwise, do that, or do this. So it's not that. So let's keep it the way it was. And 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 and. Okay. And if I do it here, it will do the same because it will just happen. I don't even want to try because it will do the same result. But I'm gonna try anyway. Yeah. It's no, it's not that. Um. Hmm. um what can I do here? Is that if If, 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 what should I check here? Number. Well, 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 I don't know. Well, if you look at the structure here, 
we do we did basically all the same here and then we did this thing here so I think we kind of have to do the same thing but probably well I don't want to do that because I didn't want to do it like I basically probably have to do a check Can I actually do it here? It's not dividable. I'm not even. Pretty sure about that, but uh, let's see. If okay, so why not? Well, I'm not. No, it's not. No, it's probably not gonna work. thing is not because for the same yeah for the same key it can be uh, the key can be a factor of the number and some another key it won't be so it will it will just reset the sound so I think I have to do that but like outside of this like uh, uh, I think there's uh, all methods Probably something like factors or uh, let's do is it? Huh. I'm not sure about that, but let's let's look at that. Uh, 
What did I do if what syntax expecting then or the no unexpected line six really can I actually do that? Nope. That is basically the whole block, right? So why aren't you oh, why aren't you working? If oh because there is that here. Should be, I think it should be fine here. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. What is saying? R can be into integer. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't really understand that. Um, Can I actually, should I put that here? Cannot count B coerce into integer. I had I've had this error before, but I don't really I don't even know what the word mean actually, what the word means. But uh, okay, so pass for each of the collection. Enumerable, isn't it an enumerable? Oh, maybe I should actually. Hmm. Again. Mm. Where is it? The ash. Should I do the H key? I 
maybe I should do an edge key here. Oh, got it. I got it. I got it right. So, well, uh, yeah, okay. Do I really need that? Yes, I need that. So the code is more compact, but uh, still, still need to do some improvement here. Uh, still need to do some improvement here. So I think I don't even need that, but it actually make more sense to have them. Oh my god, come on. Yeah, but it, it's, well, it's, it's, I don't know, it make more sense to me to have them, but let's keep that way. So you see the code was like this before. And now it's like this. So it's not like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I reduce the code um, to half as what it was at the beginning. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. But still, it just like when you read it. I'm gonna get rid of this first, and I'm actually going to get rid of that too. When you read it, you don't. It's not that you don't really understand what it's doing, but at first, it's like everything is like this thing should be out this thing should probably be a constant because it's probably going i mean it will probably never change and uh what else and here and let's get back to what it was also something like if I kept if I had kept that one that version well let's say that we wanna had another like I don't know we wanna had like I don't know like this like nine and we wanna do something like like plug or plung yeah so if wanted to do that we will have to what's going on here what's the problem what's the matter here what's what's going on is that my goodness is it my editor? Why can I edit that? Here, why can't I do it here? Come on, man. Uh, well, let's just for the explanation. So, I will have to add something like that. And probably modify that and also I will have to add another thing here like that another condition here so basically I would have to change I will have to have another to add another condition here and another condition here 
but by doing that by doing a hash here like we will not even have we will not have the hash first of all so that that version is not really to take into account but if we get that if we have kept it we'll have to have we'll have to have this line i mean those lines and this condition right here rather with that solution you want to add another factor you just add it into the hash which probably be a constant and there is nothing else you have to do so that's that's pretty like neat like it's it's pretty well it's pretty good so yeah and I'm kind of proud because um, I actually wrote the R, uh, not the R, the ash without even looking on the internet. Like I just remember how it was. It wasn't really. I wasn't sure at first. Remember, and of course, obviously, I have a memory of that exercise because I did it before. But uh, it wasn't really like easy coming from the top. Uh, so, like I said, I wanted to improve it, but I'm not going to improve it here, I'm just going to commit and then I'm going to improve it. So let's keep it that way, let's make sure everything is working. I can, I could actually, yeah, but let's keep it that way. So or is it oh you see it's not even working. Oh that's why. But what is he saying? Yeah. I get it. Alright, so or is the test are actually taking into account, so that's fine. So let's commit here. Oh my god. I just want to Commit. That's it. Get status. I think that's the only thing that changes that. Get had. Uh, get commit. Design from bunch of if. To hash git push or uh, is it uh, git yeah git push version master yup uh, so I'm going to am I yeah I'm going to stop the video because I don't want to make like very very long video so thank you guys for watching in the next video i'm going to like sort of improve stuff here i don't know how probably fine um, yeah probably fine other name and stuff and yeah let's see thank you bye bye uh, where is it